Shalom on Yasha Allah. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, preaching this word and laboring in this word in truth, love, and sincerity. And so called Christians always want us to go to Apostle Paul's writings. And they always refer us to go to Romans, the ninth chapter. Shall we? Because y'all make these statements. And through the spirit, all y'all do is cut your own selves. Okay? Because if you knew anything, you know you would know Apostle Paul himself was an Israelite. And you would know that all the different writings that Apostle Paul was writing to were to other Israelites and in places where they were dwelling at. For instance, how we're about to deal with Romans, the ninth chapter. Paul was writing to the Israelites, his brethren. That were dwelling in Rome. So without further ado, let's get into the scriptures. And you know, matter of fact, let's start at Romans, the first chapter. Okay. Romans 1 verse 1. It says, Paul, a servant of Yahweh HaMashiach, called to be an apostle, separated into the gospel of the Most High. And let's jump to the seventh verse. For the point, it says, uh, To all that be in Rome, beloved of the Most High, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from the Most High, Yahweh our Father, and the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So, this right here reads, it says, To all that be in Rome, beloved of the Most High, Yahweh, called to be saints. Now, who are the saints? Let's get that real fast. Go to the book of Psalms 148. The book of Psalms 148. We'll start at verse 13. It says, Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is excellent. His glory is above earth, the earth and heaven. He also exalted the horn of his people, his people, possessive pronoun, which are the Israelites. The praise of all his saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near unto him, praise ye the Lord. Okay, so those are the saints, the Israelites. Okay, so all to be called around to be saints are the Israelites. Okay, the answers are right there for you. Let's just get this for edification's sake. Deuteronomy uh, 32, 30. 32nd chapter, let's get the eight, eight verse. It says, When the Most High divided the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people, Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Okay, so the Lord's people are the Israelites. Okay, we came out of our the progenitor. Okay, with the progenitor of the Israelites. Is Jacob, okay, which Jacob's name later got changed to Israel. Alright? And the twelve sons became the children of Israel. Out of who? Out of Jacob. Okay? And the only way you can be an Israelite is you have to come out of the seed of Jacob. Okay? So now let's go back to Romans, the ninth chapter. And deal... To the point, okay? Because all you so-called Christians like to try to run to Apostle Paul's writings, which you have no understanding even when you read them. Then you try to say, oh, go to Romans 9, go to Romans 9, and you cut yourself through the Spirit, okay? Because this is about, exactly about to tell you uh, who the Lord is for, okay? Who the, who the world they call Jesus Christ, all right? And who Paul's people is. So let's get it. Romans 9 verse 1, it says, I said the truth of Hamashiach. I lie not, my conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Spirit, that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed for Hamashiach, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So Paul is saying, man, he wish he can take one of the things that our Lord had to go through. Okay? For who? For my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. So let's see who Paul's brethren, brethren. 
Let's see, see who Paul's kinsman, okay? Someone of his family, okay? Who are Israelites. Hold on, wait a minute. So Paul's people are the Israelites. Did it not just say that? His brethren, his kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites. To whom pertaineth the adoption, meaning the bringing back. The bringing back of, okay? Being adopted back in two. And the glory, meaning the kingdom. And the covenants. The new covenant and the old covenant. What part don't you people understand? Let's go to the fourth verse at the top again. Who are Israelites to whom pertain the adoption and the glory and the covenants, new covenant and old covenant, which is only for the Israelites, and the giving of the law, which the law was only given to the Israelites, the law, statutes, and commandments, and the service of the Most High, Yahweh, which uh, the service was given to who? The Levites, okay? The Levites were given the priesthood, okay, of the Heavenly Father. And the promises, okay? And a pro who was given the promises? Promises were passed down from Abraham onto Isaac and then onto Jacob, which Jacob represents the Israelites, okay? So we, all these things belong to us, okay? Us and us only. The Israelites, okay? The Israelite family. Whose, whose are the fathers and whom of a concerning the flesh? Hamashiach or Yahawashiach came. Let's read that verse 5 again. Whose are the fathers in whom of as concerning the flesh? Yahawashiach came who is over all. Most high Yahweh blessed forever. Amen. So there you go. Okay. There is no way of getting around it. So when you go to the Romans 9th chapter, it explains everything. How everything is given to the Israelites. Everything that you people try to uh, put yourselves in. It all goes back and pertains to the Israelites only. Okay? Only. And, they, and guess who got the service of the Heavenly Father now? The Israelites. Okay? Not just uh, uh, the Levites. Okay? Because now we are all a royal priesthood. Okay? We're all going to be a royal priesthood in the kingdom. You see? Verse 6. And then they like to run to this. Not as though the word of the Most High have taken none effect, for they are not, for they are all not Israel, which are Israel. Well, what does that mean? Okay, it means an all are not Israel of the Most High. Okay, that's what this means. All are not Israel of the Most High. Let's get it. Um, I believe it's in. Um, let's see. I'll check my notes because I know I got it in there. Oh, Galatians six verse sixteen. Okay. Because it's about Israel the most high, okay? We know a lot of these Israelites, uh, they're Israelites according to the flesh, but they ain't, they ain't in the spirit, man. Okay, let's get it. Galatians 6, verse 16, it says, uh, I'll start at 15. It says, For in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them, and mercy and upon the Israel of the Most High. Okay, so that's what that's mentioning when you read Romans the ninth chapter. Okay, I like to say, oh, all Israel is not Israel. Okay, no. The, these are Israelites according to what? The flesh. Okay, but it's about the Israel of the Most High. All right? Verse 7 says, neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children, but in, I, but in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Right, why? Because Abraham had... um. He had Isaac by Sarah. He had uh, Ishmael by Hagar, and then he had six other sons. Uh, six other sons by Keturah. So he had eight children. Okay, but in who? But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Okay, and that is they which are the children of the flesh. They are not of the children of the Most High, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. You see, that's the point. The children of the promise. Are counted of for the seed. Who is the children of the promises? Who got the promises? The Israelites. Okay, read you read it in the fourth verse. It says, "Uh, for this is the word of the promise. At this time will come, come, and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebecca also conceived by one, even by our father Isaac, for the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of the Most High, according to the election, might stand, not of works, but of Him." 
that calleth. See, because this is all written through the Most High. Okay? All written through the Most High, even before the children was born. And it was said to her, the elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, which are the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans of Negro and Indian descent, scattered through the four corners of the, of the earth, in which the elect will be gathered through the four corners of the earth, four corners of the earth of the different places they were scattered unto the diaspora and as it is written jacob have i loved but esau have i hated that means the so-called white man okay predominantly and woman okay which you are the edomites okay now let's go uh i want to jump back into uh verse eight it says that is they which are the children of the flesh right they are not of the children of the. They are not the children of the Most High. That's right. You other nations are not of the children of the Most High, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. Okay, because it's all about that seed, man. We keep telling you it's all about that seed. 